Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, we have a special surprise for you today. The Technic Launcher just got updated with this awesome mod, or mod pack, I'm not sure exactly what you'd call it. It's created by Frizzle, and it's actually called Hack Slash Mine. It's been around for a while now, but it actually got interpreted or put inside of the uh, Technic Launcher, so it's really awesome. I messed around with it last night, and uh, it's meant more of a multiplayer type one, type mod, or type uh, plugin, or whatever you want to call it. However, single player does work, but believe me, I've tested on multiplayer, it works awesomely. All the mobs are seen and everything's awesome. So here, let's get into this, and there's three different classes you can choose from, and I'm just gonna go, hmm, let's go warrior. Actually, you know what? I haven't done a scout yet, let's go scout. Now you guys are probably wondering, what is he talking about? So let's create a new world and let this build up and see what the world generates. Again, this is hack slash mine is what this is called. So, uh, oh, I'm sorry, ranger, scout, ranger, same thing. So let's go with the ranger. Yes, we got a ranger. Fell of trials. So this area where I'm in is called fell of trials, and uh, I'm at a level one area, and uh, psh, I'm facing due north, west, due south, due north. So uh, basically, your compass up there is just like Gray's mini map in a way, but it works even better because if you're in multiplayer. The blue dot that you see, you'll see all the blue dots from the multiplayer people that are playing with you. Now this cow is going to take it and die. Die cow. Now the ranger starts out with just a bow and limited arrows. The problem with that, I would say, is the fact that you have to go find your arrows or make more arrows. Unlike the uh, warrior, where you get your sword. And unlike the mage, which you have infinite abilities with your magic. Except for you do have to go ahead and... Uh, Unfortunately, wait for the mana to regen. Uh, and one more hit, and nope, one more hit after that. Come on, cow. Take it. There we go. So, oh, now we got a slime chasing us. Uh oh. Slime is. Wow. Oh, more slimes. So, we will just go ahead and take these. Oh, look at that. There's a Naga. Die, Naga. Die, Naga. Die, Naga. So really, huh, it gets intense. Oh, look at that. There's an arch, arc, an orc archer. I've not seen one of those yet. Oh, gosh. Hello, archer of orcness. Oh, there's another naga. Another naga. Oh, I might die my first time playing on screen for you guys. Oh, not good. So really, this brings a whole bunch of new mobs to the game. And a new experience, an RPG-esque experience. And this is not totally it, so uh, wait until I get to level 1 real quick. Or level 2, I should say. Really, run, cow. Run! Run, cow, run! Now, one thing is, uh, there is no food bar anymore, so there's no reason to eat. I'm not even sure if uh, food's supposed to be showing right now, but it is, of course. So, um, I would just ignore the food for right now. Uh, but, as you can see down there, we have 100% for our power, our, uh, I mean, our health bar, and 100% for our mana bar. You might be asking, why does a ranger have mana? Well, if you press shift, you can see that we have special abilities. To use these special abilities, we have to press shift and the right click button at the same time. So, if I want to press shift and that, I'll jump real quick. Everyone has this ability, I do believe. Everyone has the ability to jump really, really high up in the air. There's also this one right here, which I'm not exact, oh, multiple arrows. So that shoots multiple arrows. Pretty interesting. Uh, this ability right here, fire arrows, they blow up, as you can see. Again, uh, you're gonna have to watch out on your arrow uses usages. I'm down to 24 right now, so. But look at that. Pretty easy to take these guys out with this, right? Whoo! It's like a creeper on an arrow, pretty much. And the last one would be an ice arrow. I'm not sure if this actually. Oh, I'm sorry, lightning arrow. I thought it was an ice arrow. From first time playing a scout. Come on, give me a break. So here we go. We got more mobs. Ooh. And you can actually supercharge a creeper using this. And you can also use, you can also wield a sword as a scout. So don't worry, if you do run out, you can still wield a sword. Oh, 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 look at you. I feel sorry for you. Now the one thing that you're going to have to get used to is there is no shifting to crouch. Because the shift is being implemented as the uh, special features. Oh, sound. Oh, sound, oh, sound. You can't actually shift to crouch. I don't believe there's another button that you can press, probably not, to crouch, so, hmm, that is kind of iffy about that, but I mean, you get special abilities, so, it's an even trade-off, 
However, you might look to see that I should be pretty much dead right now, right? These guys are attacking me. I'm getting hit. The health does regen, and it does regen quite quickly, I do believe. And these guys aren't that bad to kill, actually. Oh! But, as just like any Minecraft game, you really have to go ahead and pull forward, dig a little hole, and try to find the special features. Now, everything in Minecraft is still in Minecraft, uh, I do believe. I don't think anything has been taken out of the game. Like I said, meat's in implemented, but you can't really use it. The green tower over there is actually a dungeon, which there are many of those, with special, special features. You could get extra bows, all kinds of enchantments. Ah, come on, die. Ooh, one hit, and he drops arrows, look at that. Rejuvenation. So, again, durability is still in use. Now your crafting bar is still down here. And you can still craft a workbench. So, we could put a workbench down in our slots, and bring it down, set it right there, and we'd still have the regular good old workbench that we're used to. And I could still make the regular good old tools that we're used to. Say I want to cut more trees down. Still can pull that off. And just like that, we we have wood. You want to make a furnace? Of course, we can still make a furnace. We just need to dig down a little bit. Find some stone, which has got to be down here somewhere, right? And like I said, I was on the server with uh, Deadman, Josh, J5Hawk, and my wife. And there was little to no lag at all on my ho home server. We had plenty of fun. There is one problem. The mages were getting kicked quite often for some sort of reason. Illegal actions or something like that. Some sort of moving action. But uh, you know, it happens with new mods, new betas of everything. You're going to have these problems. So there is how much? 12? We should have enough now to... Uh, Ooh, can I climb stuff? I can climb stuff, so can I climb a tree? Oh, so a scout can climb a tree. That's pretty interesting. I'm not sure if uh, all these have the special features to climb a tree, but or climb items, but... Ooh, what is that guy? It's a wizard. Ooh, gotta take the wizard out. Wizard? Wizard of... No. Ow! Yeah, that's right. Take it. He's dead. So is the slimes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Starting to fire on the tree. Get down, get down, get down. So this is pretty awesome. And I think I might actually do a uh, season of this or two. Because it does seem like an awesome game. But uh, I'm not sure if I need to bring other play players in with me. Do I need to bring some of the misfits in with me? What do you guys think? Do I need to bring some awesome people? We'll see. We'll see if I can get some awesome people in with me. I think this is going to be one epic mod. Oh, gosh. Another, another wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Where'd you go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, nice. Nice spawn. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, fight each other. Go ahead. I, I love that. Don't touch me. So we can still put the furnace down. And we can still probably burn logs. Oops, let me switch that around. Ow, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. And let's go ahead and go to a tower real quick so you can see what that is like. Let me get some torches going real quick. I don't want to uh, go in unprepared. It is quite dark in some of those towers. And there is many, many, many enemies. So let's go ahead and do that. And go ahead and get some more wood. Turn it into some sticks. Use the sticks for some torches. We got eight torches on us, and we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and travel over to this tower. This tower is the closest. Naga can go ahead and bite it, because I'm not going to be messing with him right now. Ow. I might have to, though. It's kind of cool, though. I could just, like, walk up this. I'm not jumping at all. It's pretty interesting. So can I walk up the side of this building? No. Of course not. So it's a uh, default on what you can walk up or not. Oh, it's right in here. There's a slime spawner. Oh, great. Ow. Uh, scout's good for longer range stuff. Oh gosh, oh gosh, no, no, no. And up close stuff is probably not the best thing to do with a scout. But let's go ahead. You can go ahead and take care of these mob spawners just like any other mob spawner. And there we go. Mob spawners taken care of. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here for a second. Uh, make sure there's, oh, Naga. Really? Stay away from me. Okay. Alright, so that's all good and done. Now, if I press E... You can see right here, I got six unspent points. So if you can go to more, 
I can actually skill up on my points. Uh, if that's direct dexterity, which I'm not sure if it is or not. Uh, you know what? I'll just even these out. So there we go. Six points evened out. And you know what? I'm going to switch my skill to fire. And... Let's go ahead and take these guys out. Yeah, that's right. That's what I said. You're going out. Remember, this only uses mana up, so you don't really have to worry about too much. Because the mana does regen. Ooh. Ooh, spider. Let's go ahead and go up to the next level. Ooh. Not good. Not good at all. Let me get my sword out. Woo! Scary. Scariness. Scary. Oh, no. Woo! Now, at the top of these towers, generally, there is something awesome. You just have to get to them. Like, right here. This is the top of this tower. There is some lighting bugs still. And, uh, they cannot be fixed, uh, this way at all. I don't know why. They just can't be fixed. Uh, so, we'll have to deal with them for now. But I'm sure they'll get fixed later on. I open this up, and look at that. We have the Fell Sprints, which is 25 to durability, 1 to wisdom, and 10 to ice resistance. As well as a Fell Cow, which is a lot better than that one right there, so... Let's go ahead and uh, pimp my guy out, why don't we? So make sure we're in the right bag that got those. I'm not sure how the bags work or how they go into the bags, but still, it's pretty interesting. So there we go. We just uh, pimped our guy out. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So there we go. Um, we just went on to one of the towers. And let me know if you guys... Oh, I guess it fixed itself eventually. But uh, let me know if you guys really want me to do something like this, and I'll do it. But I think this is an awesome mod, and it really needs to be shown a lot more. Because I can't imagine, I still want to get a server running that's like this. That people like have to level up and stuff, and they have towers around that they have to defeat. Oh, oh my gosh, that would be so awesome. So let me know what you guys think, and we will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.